Hey, hey. It's, Hello. It's week 11 of our Run Ooh. Disney Walt Disney World Marathon, marathon training. training. What did we do today? We ran a half marathon today. We ran <laughs> 13 miles today. Mm -hmm. How's your training going along? Stick around, you find out what happened today. All right, so we got to the finish line, and uh, uh, where were no our medals? Metal, no Gatorade, no, <laughs> no banana, banana. <laughs> no bagel. A terrible half marathon. Uh, this is the first time we have run this far. That far voluntarily, without voluntarily. paying for it. Yeah, without paying for it. I mean, financially. We're paying for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's not why we do this, right? No way. We love running. And we love all the benefits of running. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, what did we learn today? All right, so first of all, we learned that I need some new shoes. Yeah. My feet are killing me, yeah. and my hips are hurting, and my knees are hurting, and I'm thinking it's all connected to how sore my feet are right now. So I got fitted in these shoes last year, uh, probably around this time last year, actually, maybe yeah. a little bit earlier. Yeah. And uh, they, they were great, and I bought another pair of them. They were great, but I guess my body has changed. It's time to go get fitted again. So, so lesson number one. Listen to your body. Yes. Uh, just when it's because yelling at you. Yeah. When it's there screaming. might be a reason. That's right. Uh, yeah. If you if you if you've been fitted for running shoes and you love them and you've been using them, uh, your body might change. Uh -huh. So it doesn't necessarily mean those are the best shoes for Forever. the next time you go out. So yeah. uh, pay attention to your body. Right. What else happened today? Uh, let's see. So uh, last week, speaking of listening to your body, last week we ran 11 miles. Right. We ran about seven of it on like a crushed granite. Yeah. Uh, trail, yeah. and then we, um, sorry, a bunch of trucks got a little hairy there for a minute, yeah. um, and then we ran about four miles on concrete, right. and afterwards we felt pretty beat up, Yeah, pretty beat up, so this time, even though we were running 13 miles, and we only have a uh, 1.7, 1.8 mile crushed granite loop at our local park to run on we ran that eight times right so we learned that that is doable yeah so concrete isn't the uh most uh, absorbent right. material it is the least preferred yeah. running surface yeah. so Crushed be careful granite gravel is best asphalt is second mm -hmm. and then uh straight up concrete sidewalk what is going on down here not a, not a good idea yeah it's bad so lesson number two uh plan your training routes Pay accordingly attention to what you're running on yeah because something uh, is uncomfortable then find a different yeah, way yeah you don't want to you don't want to get injured yep. right you yep. don't want to get injured yep uh, what else happened today nutrition oh my gosh we're starving we yeah, didn't take starving. enough food so we run with peanut butter and jelly uh, peanut butter and honey sandwiches yep. 
On white bread? Uh, white bread, we cut it up into little squares, and uh, I like to eat a square like every three miles right. or so. So, um, you got a fuel. We ran out of squares. Right. What feels like an eternity ago. I'm sure it was just like 30 minutes ago, but it feels like forever ago, and yeah. we're just hungry. Yeah. So, we're going to have to, uh, as we get into more miles, and while it's still warm outside, and we're just like, sweating buckets, um, I think we're going to need to start taking a little extra food with us. Yeah. Uh, we also take uh, jelly bellies, they, uh, the sport beans, which yeah. have electrolytes and a little extra calories in them. And great flavors. Yeah, they're really, really yummy. Yeah. And we, we find they really help us, especially the electrolyte boost yeah. uh, when we're running in a park. And, you know, unlike all the other 13 mile runs we've taken, yeah. there weren't water stops with Gatorade or Powerade at them. So we, we take those as electrolytes, help us feel a little better throughout the rest of the day. We need to take more than one packet of those now because I, I'm feeling yeah. a little uh, cramped, cramped up in my legs, yeah. and a, a little woozy. So, um, yeah. So, so we fuel need, up. We need Lesson three. <laughs> Lesson three. Uh, pay attention to your fueling. Uh, I always think of uh, Dwight Troop. If you want to be a winner, you got to fuel, fuel like, like a winner. A winner. <laughs> uh, it was a great run, though. We did it. We had a great time yeah. and a great time. A great time. And our training is going uh, really well. We're excited. We're getting closer and closer. How's your training going? If you have tips, share them with us. Remember, no matter what we do, it's always an adventure with you.